My point is you can't have one foot in the world, one foot out of the world. That's my whole point. How is that holy skeleton walking around stripper pose? Dancing. Welcome back to the best YouTube channel on the planet. It is me, Ernia Washington, and today I want to make a really quick video. I probably got like one or two more to talk about, about this Kat Von D situation. We know that she was recently baptized, and I mentioned that it's going to be a life change. It's going to be difficult for her. I mentioned it in a couple of my past videos that I feel like she's going to struggle when it comes to creativity. A lot of people with the whole, you're being judgmental. And it's like, we have to use righteous judgment. We have to use discernment for a reason. So Jeremiah 14, 7, the people say, oh, wickedness has caught up with us, Lord. But help us for the sake of your own reputation. We have turned away from you and sinned against, sinned against you again and again. You guys, so my whole point is the industry you're in and the, the way you make your money dictates a lot. It dictates a lot. It dictates how you're going, you're walking Christ. So like I said before, she recently made a video, a music video called, I believe it's called Vampire Love. Have you watched it? Now the, that music video, there's no telling when a song was recorded or when it was published, but I mean, when it, when it was recorded or the video was shot, but she did her baptism and then after that published a vampire love video what is a vampire you think that's an angel did you watch the video no you call me you call me judgmental no i'm using righteous judgment did you watch the video what is she promoting you realize that there are skeletons on stripper poles but is that holy i'm just asking you think where's god in that Where's God in the fact that people in the music video are dressed up in Halloween costumes? What is Halloween? What is, what is Hallow's Eve? Do you know? Do you know if it's a, it's a day of satanic worship? Did you know that? So my point is you cannot have two feet in, one foot, two feet. <laughs> my point is you can't have one foot in the world, one foot out of the world. That's my whole point. How is that holy skeleton walking around stripper pose? Dancing. And if she's on stage and she's singing, she's promoting it. So when I say her turning back evil, I don't necessarily know if she's back in her in the witchcraft. I don't know if she's back in satanic worship or anything like that. But my point is, don't be surprised when people go through public baptisms and public, you know, transformations of God. But then you turn around and you see them still in the world. Why did everybody in the music video have on Halloween costumes? Did you see the Egyptian lady and all of that? Did you see that? What is that? Was she not posing? As a false god, was there any type of god, false god worship in there? Did you see that? The birds and the bees and different things. And everything was like male and female. Did you notice that? A little bit of blending. You get me? So it's it's signs and it's symbols. And I just don't want you guys to be shocked. That's my whole point. Don't be shocked when people who claim to be of God and they, they turn around in the public eye and they do things that are not godly. But then you want to, you're being judgmental. No, I just, I'm just saying I know. Until you really make the true transformation and the people around you and different things like that, you can't walk in both both light and darkness. That's my point. So if I'm being hard, it's because I want you to make a very clear understanding and I don't want you to trick people out of Father God's light because you got them thinking that you can get baptized and you can do this and you can claim this and claim that. But then the back door, you let the enemy in and he just play with you just a little bit can't do that you cannot do that so right just judgment right judgmental judgmental no just i got some sense now i never played in like the demonic world or anything but i was very sinful back in the day and not too far back so i can understand coming out and transitioning in certain things but when you jump you gotta jump and the people around you is very, very important. I watched a video of her talking about how her husband had a hard time with the transition and he didn't want to do it because of the ridicule. It's not ridicule. Now, some of us, some of us women and women, women and men of God, y'all should be shamed. But I'm shedding light because it's like I'm not bashing you to believe. Believe what you want to believe, but I'm not going to allow you to pretend to believe something publicly and you worship Satan privately. I'm going to say something. And I don't know if you're necessarily worshiping him, worshiping him privately, but something's fishy. Not talking about her specifically, but in general, something's fishy. So if you want to be a Satanist or you want to be evil, go over there in the corner. And we're going to just war it out. I'm team Father God. I'm team Yahweh. I'm team Yeshua. So Jesus Christ, the most high. So that's all my point is. It's like, don't be surprised. 
when people claim in one thing and then you see them sideline doing something else and don't make excuses because what's your excuse for that? She's new and you think God care about us being new. He has grace and mercy, but he's not going to keep playing that with us. Get it together and repent. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Peace and positive vibes.